Well, 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 what do we have here? Glenn Kirkham stepping back. Ladies and gentlemen, come around as witness the final act of a desperate scammer. With his empire of deceit crumbling around him, he attempts to salvage what's left of his tarnished reputation. His martingale system finally went bust, as it was inevitable, leaving countless innocent souls with substantial financial losses. The grand illusion he painted, promising financial abundance through football trading, has been shattered, reeling the cold reality of his scam. It seems that the weight of his fraudulent deeds has finally caught up with him. Despite his attempts to conceal the truth, the evidence of his deceptive practices is out there for all to see. Little does he know, the internet ever forgets, and our exposed video stands proudly on top of the YouTube search results. Oh, how agonizing it must be for him! His once carefully created facade now exposed for all to see. Friends, family, business partners, everyone can witness the true nature of this scammer. No longer can he hide behind a veil of lies, for the light of truth has shone upon him. Ah, the classic scammer tactic of posing as a super nice guy to win people's trust. Glenn Kirkham was no exception, feigning sincerity and innocence in the face of our exposed video. So much of this is wrong and taken widely out of context, he claimed, trying to downplay the damning evidence against him. But the truth, my friends, can't be so easily twisted or hidden. His generous offer to jump on a live and unedited call to put the record straight. Ah, the grand performance of innocence. Scammers like Dan Kirkham are skilled at deflecting blame and evading accountability. But sorry, Mr. Kirkham, we are not interested in your deceitful show. Your true colors have already been exposed and no amount of smooth talking can erase the evidence. Oh, how heartwarming it is to see scammers like Dan Kirkham posting with their families on social media and videos. But let's not be fooled by this facade of family values. It's downright disgusting to put innocent kids on display without even blurring their faces. We had to do the blurring here. All while hiding behind the mask of a caring family man. What kind of person uses their family to shield themselves from the consequences of their deceitful actions. But wait, there's more. It seems that Glenn Kirkham's business partner, who appears to be taking over control, is following in his deceptive footsteps. Yes, you guessed it, he's also posing as a family man with his kids on social media. Coincidence? We think not. The noble art of using innocent kids as pawns in the game of deception. Bravo scammers for sinking to new lows because nothing says trust of a betting guru like exploiting your own flesh and blood for personal gain. After being exposed for his fertile and football trading products and phony promises, Glenn Kirkham's desperation reached new heights. In a cowardly attempt to suppress the voices of truth, he tries to legally threaten those who dare to reveal his deceitful ways. Oh, but how cunning! With a cease and desist letter written by his lawyer in mind, he thought he could hide behind a Reddit account to get our contact details, not revealing his true identity. But upon further inspection, we recognized it's him. You can see this account was posting his old football songs videos. And let's be clear to all empty-headed scammers out there. Your legal threats will only make us double down. As for those who have already threatened us without even having been exposed yet, rest assured, we will be coming for you when the time is right. And as we have indicated in the chat message to Kirkham, Come at me, bro. We have the money, we have the time, we have the expertise, we have the evidence, we have everything. So if you threaten us, congratulations, you fucked yourself. Congratulations, Glenn Kirkham, you fucked yourself by threatening us. Because from now on, whenever you promote a scam, we will be covering it. It doesn't even have to be a betting scam. If you try to scam people in another way, we will also cover it. Congratulations, Glenn. You fucked yourself. If you have fallen victim to the deceitful schemes of Glenn Kirkham and his fertile and football trading products, fear not. There are steps you can take to seek justice and protect yourself from further harm. Don't let scammers get away with their deceptive practices. Report the scam on action fraud. Also, law enforcement hasn't been very active yet in the UK regarding fake gurus, 
They will eventually become active if enough people report. They now explicitly list betting scams as suitable cases. It doesn't cost anything to report a scam, and you can even have a live chat with an agent there. Your report will help build a case against the scammers and may prevent others from falling victim to their deceitful tactics in the future. While reporting the scam to action fraud is a crucial step, you may also have the option to pursue justice through a civil case. Consult with a solicitor to explore the possibility of filing a civil case against Glenn Kirkham and seeking compensation for the financial losses you've suffered. In our opinion, you have a very strong case and you will very likely win. But keep in mind that there is always some risk involved, as this option is not free. Remember, seeking justice is not only about recurring your losses, but also about holding scammers accountable for their actions. By taking action, you not only protect yourself, but also contribute to the collective effort to expose and dismantle fraudulent schemes like Kirkham's. Don't let scammers like Glenn Kirkham continue to exploit vulnerable people. By reporting the scam and seeking justice, you become part of a community of individuals who refuse to be victims and are determined to take a stand against deceitful practices. Share this information with others who may have been affected and together let's send a powerful message to scammers that their fraudulent schemes will not go unnoticed or unpunished. We must all play a role in protecting ourselves and others from falling prey to these deceptive tactics. Despite the record she caused, Kirkham had the odyssey to write a long deceitful farewell post on Facebook trying to play the victim and save face. After duping countless innocent souls with his phony football trading products, he decided to step back. Oh, how touching. But fear not, for this farewell post is nothing more than an elaborate act of self preservation and damage control. I must say, your ability to present yourself as the altruistic hero while scamming innocent people out of their hard-earned money is truly commendable. Let's take a moment to appreciate the brilliant tactics he used to build his empire. Selling dreams and empty promises to vulnerable souls seeking financial relief. All while pretending to be the humble savior of the masses. Bravo! Truly a con artist in a league of his own. Ah yes, you're humble bragging about your 54,000 month. A few 20,000 plus months and multiple 10,000 plus weeks is truly touching. We should all aspire to reach such heights of financial greatness through the magical world of football trading. Who needs a stable job or financial responsibility when we have your genius to guide us? Little did his victims know that he was manipulating the outcomes, cherry picking his wins and leaving a trail of broken dreams behind. And now the great revelation. You couldn't handle the guilt, the responsibility, the weight of your customers ruined lives, could you? It's touching how you claim to feel their pain as if you weren't the one orchestrating their downfall. But it's all in the name of inner work, right? Please spare us the crocodile tears and fake remorse. Yes, dear friends, let's not forget the heart-wrenching tale of Tiger losing. How it fucking crushed him, or so he claims. But in reality, it's just a convenient ploy to save face when his scammy martingale eventually failed. Oh, how he must relish the excitement of fooling his followers into believing he was truly a football trading genius. But behold, he's found enlightenment. The burden of his deceitful empire has weighed heavily on his conscience, or so he proclaims. He wishes to absolve himself of the responsibility to no longer be the face of the organization that thrives on exploiting the desperate hopes of the vulnerable. Oh, what a noble sacrifice! stepping back from the spotlight while still maintaining control behind the scenes. A cunning tactic to distance himself from the inevitable fallout when the truth surfaces. After all, a skilled charlatan never fully reveals their hand, do they? So let us bid farewell to the grand illusionist, the scam artist supreme, as he disappears into the anus of deception. Good riddance, Stan Kirkham. May your legacy serve as a warning to all who dare to trust self-proclaimed gurus promising financial salvation.